so today I'm going to be discussing some of the information that we didn't know that we now do. I know that there were questions asked like, where was the dog? Um, why didn't he bark or was he barking? Uh, were there any bloody footprints? Did the roommates hear anything? And so thanks to them releasing the affidavit, we now have some of those answers. Now, I know the affidavit just includes, you know, pertinent details that they need to give to the judge in order to be able to go and make make an arrest. So there's a lot more information out there um, that we that we don't know. But it is a good start. I think we we knew that Zaina and Ethan were on the second floor and both actually were found in the bedroom on the floor. So I think there might have been some thought that Ethan maybe was outside of the bedroom or in the doorway or whatever, but both of them were found in her bedroom. We now know that the murders happened later, more like between 4 and 4.20. And one thing that was discovered was that Zaina had ordered um, DoorDash, so she had ordered some food that was delivered at around four o'clock in the morning. And then it also shows that she was on her phone watching TikTok or, or doing whatever with TikTok until about 4.12 a.m. So then we know now that she wasn't asleep. She was actually awake when she did get attacked. And the fact that Ethan was also in that room, whether he was asleep or not, we know that the killer had to overtake them both, and he did. We know that Zayna's dad had mentioned that it appeared that Zayna had, had put up a fight. She had defensive wounds and this and that. So the intruder was powerful enough to, to um, take both of them down. Another question was, where was Murphy found? And now we know that Murphy was found in Kaylee's room. And so one thing that was speculated was, that is now proven wrong, was that maybe uh, Murphy was downstairs with the surviving roommates. So now we know that that's not the case. He was in Kaylee's room. We still don't know who necessarily put him in there, but that was where he was found. And Dylan did even mention that when she was uh, woken up, she was woken up at around four o'clock. She actually thought Kaylee was playing with Murphy upstairs in one of the you know, rooms or whatever. It also was confirmed that Murphy was in fact barking. So a neighbor's security camera had picked up distorted noises that sounded like, you know, a dog barking, whimpering, loud thud and voices at around 417 in the morning. And then it was discovered previous to this, I think by Kaylee's dad, letting us know that both Kaylee and Maddie were in Maddie's bedroom, which, which that was the case. Now, as far as the surviving roommates, I think we kind of, well, I know I did, speculated that they were downstairs. I didn't know if they were maybe in their own separate bedrooms, maybe they were sharing a bedroom, but there was also mention that there was a, you know, a, a bedroom on the second floor as well. And that is actually where uh, Dylan was was sleeping. That is her room. I will be doing a, a separate video on how Dylan came face to face with, with the killer. We also now know that there was a, a bloody footprint left right, right in front of um, Dylan's door. And it had diamond-shaped tread or whatever, so they are thinking that this may have come from a Vans-type shoe. We now know that Dylan 
witnessed seeing the killer leaving the house and she was able to provide a a description of him. I can only imagine all of the additional information that's going to be coming out. Again, the affidavit is just kind of hitting those high points that, you know, is going to persuade a judge to allow for for an arrest. So I know we still have to be a little bit patient and wait to see what what all is going to be coming out. I personally am just really happy that a suspect you know, is in custody. And yes, he does have the right uh, to due process. And so we're going to watch all of that play out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Uh, be careful out there. And I hope you have a great day.